New at 11 for you. We are smack dab in the middle of summer and with the heat and humidity comes mosquitoes. The Toledo Area Sanitary District says it has seen an increase in those annoying critters and it's trying to do something about it. Andre Norrells, he joins us once again live in Defender and has more on what the department is doing to try to combat this. Andre? Yeah, Jeff, we've been driving around here in Maumee, and that right there is one of those mosquito control vehicles. You've probably seen them before. Their job tonight is to fog this area, and in the summer, it's a growing battle against a growing foe. Sam Halderman lives in Maumee, and like many of you, he is not a mosquito fan. If there could be a way to safely just get rid of all mosquitoes, that would be awesome. He says he's been spending a lot of time with his family outside and says mosquitoes make it tough. As we've gone to different metro parks, there are some that we kind of just decide not even to go to if it's the evening time. And we typically like try and go there in the morning instead just because we know we're going to get eaten alive. <laughs> but he says they've been bad in his mommy neighborhood too. But on this night, the county's trucks will hit other spots on the map. I wish they would have just extended it a little bit more. We would have loved to be included in that. They got an egg stage, a larval stage, pupil stage, and adults. Biologist uh, Jacob so Sublet with Toledo Mosquito Control says where they send the trucks is based on high numbers of biting mosquitoes and those with viruses like West Nile. Every uh, application that we do is in response to uh, surveillance. So we will never go out and do any kind of application unless there is a reason that the surveillance is supporting it. And it has. Like one dip, we were getting like 300 mosquitoes. And you ready for this? He says mosquitoes that carry West Nile are actually something they see every year. However, we will, would note that it is probably a little bit earlier and a little bit more than we normally see in, you know, in past seasons. But have been no human cases reported this year in Ohio and only one in Michigan. As for Halderman, he says there may be more bug spray in his future, especially with more trips outside with his one month old. My wife, she won't go to some parks without bug spray. <laughs> Now these mosquito, uh, excuse me, these foggers will be out in this area until about 1 a.m. The health department says using an EPA approved bug spray is a good idea to protect yourself from mosquito borne diseases. The department has a full list of other ways you can protect yourself on their website at lucascountyhealth.com. Reporting in Maumee, Andre Knowles, WTWL 11.